A history of trees in Singapore. What's the fuss about trees? We all know that trees produce the oxygen we need to survive. But did you know, trees have also played a significant role in the development of Singapore, from a small fishing village to the urban city-state it is today. Singapore's landscape is constantly evolving, and the appearance and disappearance of certain tree species are a big part of Singapore's history and culture. Let's begin by discovering more about the history of trees in Singapore. Before the British arrived in 1819, there were gambia plantations present in Singapore. Gambia, which was used to dye cotton and tan leather, was cultivated for export to countries, mainly China and Britain. New plots of land were continuously cleared for its cultivation, as it grew best on nutrient-rich soil. Fruit trees such as durian, rambutan and pomelo were also planted then. Sir Stamford Raffles first set foot on the bank of the Singapore River in 1819. As he wanted to establish Singapore as a major trading port and to improve the economies of Singapore and British territories around the world, he imported several different cash crops such as nutmeg and clove. Many other economic crops were also introduced such as cocoa, coffee, cinnamon, and sugarcane. Coffee quickly became one of the most valuable money-making crops for Singapore due to its high demand in Europe. As Singapore rose to prominence as a major trading port, the lucrative spice trade in the region led to the rise of plantation agriculture. However, the nutmeg canker disease swept through the plantations, killing the nutmeg plants. By 1862, the cultivation of nutmeg had ceased. By mid-19th century, disease plagued the coffee plantations, causing farmers to look for alternative crops. As gambia plantations exhausted the soil after a few harvests, other less nutrient-demanding crops were planted, such as pineapple and the new king among cash crops, rubber. Rubber and pineapples were grown together in the late 19th century. The introduction of pineapple canning in 1888 led to the expansion of the pineapple industry. It may be surprising to know that while the pineapple is often linked to exotic islands such as Hawaii, the pineapple is closely associated with Singapore as well. In fact, it was one of the main drivers of Singapore's economy. As rubber trees usually take more than five years to mature, Farmers often grew pineapples alongside rubber as an extra source of income. Due to the increasing demand of rubber to make car tires for the rapidly growing automobile industry, by 1935, the rubber plantations in Singapore had grown extensively to occupy some 40% of the island. Fast forward to modern day Singapore. Little land is set aside to grow trees for agriculture. However, we have continued the practice of growing trees, but for altogether different purposes. Let's take a look at why and what some of the common trees in present-day Singapore are. 